Uh, let's talk a little bit about the CNN situation with um, President Trump. That's because, something course, the way, even when you see it, you don't know whether you can... Uh, Jackie, you've been in the political sphere, of course. You're now more journalistic side of things. Uh, Ian, you are on this side of the table rather than the political side of the table. Watching that unfold yesterday was, was an extraordinary moment uh, to see how President Trump was yeah. interacting with Jim Acosta. But then the development since when the White House accused him of putting his hands on the intern. Now, the tape... Uh, suddenly that they are using as evidence, which we all watched, we all saw the footage happen. Mm -hmm. There was C-SPAN's uh, footage that's there. Uh, suddenly there seems to be rumours that it's been doctored in some way, Ian. Well, they, they sped it up and they slowed it down. Now, I don't think that actually counts I think we could actually look at it. So yes, this it is, does. This no, is the one does. that the yes, White House put out, is it? Am I right in thinking? That shows the hand-on for longer, because they've slowed down yeah. the frames. But, that, I, I mean, but I, they've also quickened it up to make it... It's semantic whether you think that's doctoring. Well, it, of course it's doctoring. If you change the, the speed of a video that. in order to make it look like somebody's chopping somebody else's arm rather than simply sort of trying to resist having a microphone taken off them, of course it's doctoring. Oh. But even before you get to the doctoring, the fact that you can take away somebody's press credentials for asking a difficult question tells you everything you need to know about Trump's sort of sensitivity about being challenged by the media. Um, I should declare an interest because I work for CNN, but okay. um, so you can discount anything I say if you like. I think it we is do anyway. I, <laughs> we might not do it. Sorry I think it, it is outrageous <laughs> that the President of the United States should be able to try to dictate who CNN employs in the White House. Now, you can say that, well, Jim Acosta was rude in his questioning, he, he pushed it too far, but you do not react like that and then sort of strut away from the microphone looking like mm. a sort of pound shop Mussolini, because it's sort of like that the body language that, tr that Trump has is, is ridiculous. To be, fair, to be fair to Donald Trump, I think one of the things that That's we... not you, a phrase you hear. No, 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 it's <laughs> not. But, of course, he's trying to control that press conference and, and we know uh, how sensitive he can be about these things. He didn't deal with what Jim Acosta was doing. If Donald Trump handled that a bit better, it wouldn't necessarily have got to this well, stage of, of, where they're having to use course, footage to Of course, to, that's right. I think Jim part Acosta. of the problem here is that when you look at these press conferences, there are like 200 journalists there, mm. and they all think they can ask three questions each. Yeah. If, they, if the White House said, you've got one question, and maybe a follow-up on that subject, uh, this sort of thing wouldn't happen. Although I do wonder if it hasn't turned into... The whole thing has turned into a bit of a theatre anyway. I mean, some of the people that were always from the room said, what you don't realise in this press conference is because it doesn't get picked up on the mic. It's a very often when President Trump's people, people are virtually heckling him. It's yeah. very noisy and quite overwhelming. We know Trump can take it. And also, it's sort of playing into a drama of this media that both sides are almost <coughs> enjoying. Maybe that's the wrong word, but do you know what well, I mean? Well, listen, it's, mm. Trump... It's like that's there's, a, a, there's a fight on both sides. There is, there is a really fundamental problem that we've discussed previously with Trump calling the me a, a free media the enemy of the yeah. people. That is a real undermining of democracy. And he, <laughs> but and he, he did does it again. It, but he get, but that's one of his tactics. You know, yeah. Let's not forget, every single campaign rally that he did uh, in, for the midterm elections, he did that thing where he says, you lot at the back, um, you know, you're... Mm. You're responsible for fake news, and, and mm. it clearly works. And then the for crowds him. turn on the journalists. Indeed. Oh, they're really ugly scenes. Yeah. yeah.